Okay, so put away your calculators and let's see how much you actually know about basic math. So here is the problem. We have 3 times parentheses 4 plus 16 divided by 2 times 2 and parentheses. But uh, we do have a multiple choice question here and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 60, B is 30, C is 24, and D is 90. All right, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second, then of course I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is A, which of course is 60. All right, now if you got this right and you did not use a calculator, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. If you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think you did something wrong because I got 24, or maybe you got another number. Well, if that's the case, well, you did something wrong, all right? So this is a good opportunity to, uh, to learn something, and you probably made a very common error. All right, so once again, we have three times, parentheses, four plus 16 divided by two times two. How do you do this problem? Well, let's go ahead and get into it right now. So we have this problem and the question really is like, what do we do first? Well, you know, like we have a whole bunch of things going on. We can add, we can divide, we can multiply. Uh, parentheses, this three outside of this parentheses, this is also means multiplication. So what do we do first? Okay, because depending on what order we do this problem, we can come up with all kinds of different uh, possible numbers as the answer. So we need to have some sort of uh, something to tell us, do this first, then do this second, do this third, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that is really kind of the main idea of this uh, problem is what is the order to do these operations? Now, in algebra, these things right here are called, I'm sorry, not well in algebra, in mathematics, these things like plus, division, multiplication, subtraction, all that kind of stuff. These are called mathematical operators, okay? Well, we have this nice little fancy acronym right here, uh, and it's uh, PEMDAS, right? And uh, there's kind of a little saying that goes along with it. It's called, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But this right here tells us the order of operations, okay? So going back up here, we have addition, division, multiplication. Hey, what do I do first? What do I do second? What what operation do I do first? What operation do second? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And we're not talking about operations like do your uh, you know uh, foot surgery first and then after that get your shoulder replacement second. That's not what we're talking about, right? Uh, that's much more painful than any mathematics that you'll ever study. Okay, so we're talking about the order of operations which we can uh, uh, use this nice little mnemonic, this little memory aid, a little acronym to help us out. So let's go and take a look at this right here, PEMDAS, and uh, this is what it tells us. So PEMDAS, again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, probably your great-great-grandparents even uh, learned this little phrase way back in the good old days. So let's uh, start with P, okay? So what does P stand for? Matter of fact, let me kind of just highlight right there. So this means parentheses, okay? So we're always gonna do uh, everything inside parentheses and sometimes math problems have like parentheses within parentheses, like two minus eight plus one, uh, three, something like that. So you're gonna uh, go to your innermost parentheses first and then just keep working your way out. So when you see parentheses, you're gonna focus on what's inside the parentheses first. Okay, so that's P. The E stands for exponents, but you can kind of interpret that as powers. So something like two to the third power. So if you see anything with powers and exponents, you're gonna to wanna to take care of those things uh, next. All right, so here is where the confusion kind of comes into play for a lot of students. So the next thing is M and D, okay? So this means multiplication and division, right? So that's what M and D means. Now, a lot of students, right? And if you made this mistake, I'm glad you did because I'm gonna clarify it right now. You're kind of working your checklist here from left to right. So when you look at PEMDAS, most students are like, ooh, I gotta do M, okay? Because it becomes, uh, it, uh, it's before D, right? When I'm looking at this thing from left to right. So I must always do multiplication and then I'll do any division. Always, always, always. That's not the case, right? This is again, one of the greatest 
places where students can use the order of operations. What this means is anytime you see multiplication or division, you're going to do whatever comes first from left to right. So if you have multiplication from uh, from left to right and multiplication then division, you're going to do that. But if you have division then multiplication, you're going to do this. Okay, so our little acronym could be DM. All right, but then we wouldn't have that cool little phrase. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We'd have to make something else up, and then we would have to have two phrases. But you need to interpret this. Okay, so. M and D means multiplication to division, whatever you see from left to right. So it could be this. And in fact, in this particular problem, this is what's going on. And then that leaves us lastly with A and S, which is addition and subtraction. And it works the same way, whatever we see first from left to right. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. Now, this uh, problem that we're doing involves a lot of basic math skills. So if you want to uh, learn basic math from me, check out uh, these courses in the description. So I would check out my Math Foundations a course, my Pre-Algebra course, or maybe even my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to the problem. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this problem. Okay, so now here, I have parentheses, so I have to do everything inside the parentheses first, okay, before I deal with this uh, three on the outside. Now, looking at this problem, a lot of you out there said probably did multiplication, okay? If you got the wrong answer, you went two times two, which I understand why you did that. You were like, PEMDAS, got to do the multiplication before division every single time. No, 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 no. In this case, we have division and multiplication, but what comes first from left to right? Well, division does, so we have to handle this first. Okay, so 16 divided by two is what? Well, that is, of course, eight. 16 divided by two is eight. So now our problem is three times, okay? This means multiplication, but we're still working inside the parentheses. So we have four plus eight times two, so it's pretty obvious now that we have to do multiplication for addition, no issues there. So we have eight times two, which of course is 16. So we're still working inside the parentheses. So four plus 16 is what? Well, that's 20. Okay, so four plus 16 is 20. Now we're done. There's nothing more to do inside the parentheses. So now we leave the parentheses and then we take this and this is multiplication. This means three times 20, which of course is 60. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.